Hi guys, my name is Bella and this is my capstone project. It's basically making a mini little side hustle mixed with a hobby that I have and that hobby is making jewelry. My jewelry collection started one day when my mom texted me and was like, Yo, I found like a super cool Craigslist find. So I said, no way, let me check it out. And it was like an entire decade's worth of beads accumulated over time. Also, all the tools and strings, anything you could possibly think of to make jewelry. It was pretty awesome. And only $100, so I took it. I don't know if you guys are aware, $100 may sound like a lot to you, but if you're talking about beads, a string of beads can cost like $15. Yeah, so having this whole collection opened up a lot of doors for me, opened a lot of space for creative efforts, and because money wasn't much of a problem, it wasn't much of a worry, which takes off a lot of stress in making creative things, and I started making some necklaces. I, I started out at a pretty beginner level, just having like, glass beads on a string and maybe a pendant. It was good practice, you know, tying knots and stuff, practicing patience, using a beading needle. It was a good impression. And I would sell necklaces and stuff, and yeah, it was fun, but I didn't feel like I was being as creative as I could have been. Which is why I felt inspired to do this for my capstone. I wanted to change the look and idea of what I'd previously done. So I decided to go shoot for more like Victorian patterns, more complex pieces, some images of inspiration that I wanted, and I just went for it. The main thing I wanted to work towards was making an advertisement with some friends because time went by so fast. The past four months really shot by because it's already January. Crap, like I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to make an advertisement for the end of this month. Because there was an extra week of break, and I'm just not that organized. I didn't even have much progress done with, to begin with. I made like six pairs of earrings during the break. Because it's really hard to do stuff you enjoy when you're really tired and busy. I was super busy with volleyball and working, and also just school in general. I was barely seeing my friends. I don't know, I just wasn't that happy. And it just wasn't a good time to be super creative with things that are really time consuming. like. For example, this necklace right here, I put a lot of effort into it. I watched American Beauty twice in a row while making it. When I make necklaces and stuff, I like to pass the time by having a movie on in the background. And it does help a lot. It makes me very patient with the process. If this necklace took me five hours to make, how much am I expected to sell it for at a reasonable price where high schoolers are willing to buy it? Most high schoolers don't have jobs. I mean, some of us do, but even then, it's hard to support small businesses. It's really difficult to prioritize that when you could get like way cheaper stuff anywhere else. Didn't want to make like a whole business out of this. It was just a side hustle in the first place. All of the money and profit I make from this will just go in a money jar that I have set aside for future projects or traveling, you know? I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with the jar yet, but pretty much all of the money I make from selling my clothes on Instagram goes in there. Yeah, I sell clothes on Instagram sometimes. Follow our clothing account. Now, school businesses don't always thrive because um, I did have a candy business for a little bit in 10th grade, right before quarantine. Um, it was a hit. Like, I made over $50 in one lunch period. It was awesome. But then my business ended up collapsing after our school decided to introduce vending machines and it was terrible because I went to the states with my mom and bought a bunch of American candies that are hard to get here <laughs> and I lost a lot of money. So yeah, you learn a lot when you have a business because you're spending a lot of money on it and investing into it. But the lucky thing about this for my capstone is I already had most of these beads on hand. I set aside the receipts for transactions I made for supplies I needed more of and there were only like three or four receipts. It wasn't a lot of money I spent and put into this project. Said the process is pretty easy. I love making earrings the most just because they allow a lot of space for creativity 
and you can make what a pair in like five minutes after planning because they're just really simple and they turn out really awesome necklaces are a little bit harder because i usually have to find a pattern on a beading website or maybe pinterest has some most of the time that's where i find most of my patterns because it's hard to just come up with victorian patterns from scratch i also learned a lot of time management i realized i'm really bad at time management so I'm probably going to be making like a lot of earrings and necklaces after this video because I I don't have that much so far. So to sum up my entire capstone, um, pretty much the advertisement just never ended up happening. Um, I realized how much planning would have had to go into an advertisement and I was just running out of time with Omicron and everything. There's a lot of planning that goes into making an advertisement because you need, you need costumes, you need actors. I wanted my friends to be my models and I wanted to come up with really fun, elaborate outfits for them to wear. I wanted music, but there's copyright things and stuff and I wanted some really cool songs in it, but I was worried that I would get fined or something. I don't know. You need cameras and my phone is really shitty. I don't know if you guys can it was just a lot of planning and I don't have a camera or the tools for that or the time it's hard to find availability that everyone has it's a lot of organization and so that's something that I learned was to plan ahead I also learned a lot of patience and this applies to anything really I used to be the type of person who was afraid my time was being wasted when I was doing really tedious things or waiting for people or waiting for my work shift to go by. When you're more patient about things, you don't take that spare time for granted and it's really nice. There's nothing wrong with wasted time. What's scarier is losing track of time. And I think I did that a little bit for this project as well, but there were a lot of learning experiences. It was really fun. I'm definitely gonna still keep making jewelry after this. Maybe when I have more time on my hands. I also didn't really end up selling anything really. I don't have cameras and stuff to post it online. My phone is really bad. And I ended up just making most of my jewelry gifts to my friends, family, even my managers at work for Christmas. And they were all super happy, so. At least I could put a smile on people's faces, and yeah, that was one of the best parts of this project, was just making jewelry to give to other people. And yeah, I really cherished the experience. I'll just leave it there for now.